Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, here I am going to discuss the complete description of system of forces. So I will discuss here different types of forces which we consider in a system that is collinear forces, coplanar forces, concurrent forces and non-concurrent forces. <music> So let's discuss about the system of forces. As we know the term about the force, so force is called the external mechanical disturbance which is responsible for change the position of any kind of body. It is responsible for acceleration or deacceleration of body and if there are number of forces are acting on any kind of body and the forces are having equal magnitude or it is having different magnitude or the forces are acting in same direction or in different direction whatever condition it is if the number of forces are acting on body and the position of the body is changing the body is accelerating or decelerating or the body is in equilibrium condition or in non equilibrium condition that particular body will be under the system of forces so the basic definition of system of forces is number of forces of different magnitude and the direction which is acting on the body so that body is considered under the system of forces here only one force is not considered in system of force if number of forces are acting on a body and the body is changing its position from non equilibrium to equilibrium condition or from equilibrium to non equilibrium condition that particular body will be under the system of forces now system of forces is related to forces so on that basis we can define different types of forces we can categorize the system of forces so there are three types of system of forces one is collinear forces second is coplanar forces and third is non coplanar forces so one by one i will discuss about these three types of forces so let's start the discussion so as i told you first force was collinear force and the second force was coplanar force so coplanar force is subdivided into three types coplanar concurrent forces coplanar collinear forces coplanar non concurrent forces and description of these forces i will give you and third type of force is non coplanar forces so non coplanar forces is also categorized here three types of non coplanar forces we consider non coplanar concurrent forces non coplanar collinear forces and non concurrent non coplanar forces so these are the types of coplanar forces and these are the types of non coplanar forces now let's start the discussion of these three types of forces coplanar non coplanar and collinear forces so in this category our first type of system of force is collinear force now collinear force is related to a line you can see here linear so if the forces are acting along a straight line or the line of action of different types of forces are passing through a same line you can see here in this diagram this is the point we can consider the point o and on this particular point o one force p is acting in forward direction and one force p is acting in backward direction so here this particular force is acting along a straight line and this particular force is acting along a straight line and this straight line is the same line of action of these two forces so we can say if the line of action along the same straight line for number of forces which are acting on a body so that particular force is called collinear force for example the best example is tug of war in tug of war there is a middle point and at one side number of people are applying forces and they are applying number of forces for pulling that particular rope in their side similarly at the second side number of forces are also applicable by number of people to move that particular rope in other direction so tug of war is the best example of collinear forces because here number of forces are acting along the same straight line so this is the collinear forces now second force is coplanar forces so coplanar force is related to plane 
here we will consider same plane coplanar means same plane so if the forces are acting in a same plane and line of action of all the forces which are acting on a body or acting on a system are parallel to each other so that particular force is called coplanar forces here we are not considering along the line here we are considering along the plane all the forces which are applicable on system or on body are subjected to that particular body and the line of action we are considering parallel to each other in a single plane here you can see this is the diagram this particular diagram is representing the coplanar forces this we can consider as a beam which is subjected by number of forces vertically here r1 and r2 are representing the reaction at the support on the beam and p1 p2 and p3 are representing the external forces applied on this particular beam so you can see here the line of action of these three forces are parallel to each other and line of action of these r1 and r2 are also parallel to each other so this is the perfect example of coplanar forces here we can consider the load acting on a beam vertically is the example of coplanar forces now let's discuss the coplanar concurrent forces so it is related to coplanar means the forces which are acting on a system in a same plane as well as the forces are concurrent concurrent means the forces are passing through a single point or the line of action of different forces which are acting on a body are passing through a single point here you can see a point o and let us consider there is a single plane and in the single plane there are number of forces are acting p1 p2 p3 and p4 these are the forces which are acting in the same plane so this is coplanar forces now concurrent forces is what line of action passes through the same point as well as the forces are lying in the same plane and these forces can be in same direction or it can be in different direction so that particular force is called the coplanar concurrent forces so this is about the coplanar concurrent forces and the perfect example of coplanar concurrent forces is if we are considering any nail or any rod which is fixed against the wall so the forces are acting on that particular point against that particular wall is the perfect example of coplanar concurrent forces now if we talk about coplanar non concurrent forces so coplanar means the forces will be in same plane but non concurrent means the concurrent means the forces are passing through a single point or line of action of forces are passing through a single point but if we talk about non concurrent forces so the line of action of forces will not pass through a single point so coplanar non concurrent forces is what when the line of action of different forces which are acting on a particular body do not pass through a same point similar to concurrent forces here the point where all the forces are meeting is different in concurrent forces the same point we consider for different line of action where all the line of actions are meeting but here all the line of action will pass through different different points so this is called non concurrent forces and coplanar forces non concurrent forces means if the forces are lying in the same plane and the line of actions are not passing through a same point and the forces can be in same direction or it can be in different direction so this is the example of coplanar non concurrent forces for example if we are having a plane or a base and on that particular base we are considering a ladder which is resting against a wall and a person is standing somewhere else on that particular base and some other force applied by some other external agent on another point so this is the example of coplanar non concurrent forces now let's discuss the next type of force that is non coplanar concurrent forces so here the term non coplanar means the forces are not acting in a same plane non coplanar means not in a same plane similarly the second term is concurrent 
so concurrent means line of action of all the forces are passing through the same point so if the forces are not acting in the same plane and the forces are passing or line of action of forces are passing through a single point so that is called the non coplanar concurrent forces it means line of actions are passing through the same point but forces do not lie in the same plane and the forces can be in same direction or in different direction so this is the perfect example of non coplanar forces or non concurrent forces here you can see these are the planes x y y z and x z these are the three different planes and if we are considering number of forces which are acting in these three planes and line of action of all these forces p1 p2 and p3 we are considering three forces which are lying in the plane in x y plane we are considering force p1 in y z plane we are considering force p3 and x z uh, plane we are considering p2 so here the plane is different but line of action of all these forces are passing through this origin point so if the line of action is passing through origin point so it will be concurrent forces but the forces are acting in different planes so these are the non coplanar concurrent forces for example tripod if you see the tripod you can see the perfect example of non coplanar concurrent forces now let's discuss the next type of force that is non coplanar non concurrent forces so here the forces are not at all coplanar means the forces are not acting in a single plane as well as non concurrent means the forces are not acting about a same point or the line of action are not passing through a single point so non coplanar non concurrent forces is represented by line of action of different forces which are acting on a body do not passes through the same point so this is related to non concurrent forces and if the forces are also not lying in the same plane so this is represented by the non coplanar forces so this is the combination of non coplanar non concurrent forces and the forces can be apply in the same direction or it can be in different direction if we see the example of non coplanar non concurrent forces so the forces are applicable in moving bus is the perfect example of non coplanar non concurrent forces thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and subscribe ekida